Hello everybody! So today we're here in Shinjuku Gyoen Park. This is one of my favorite parks in Tokyo because first of all, it's in the middle of the city, it's in Shinjuku. Um, so you can stop by here um, after shopping or before shopping. This place happens to be one of the best places to view the cherry blossom trees. So it's amazing because it's a weekday here. It's a Tuesday. That's a weekday. And look at this place. This looks like it's a holiday. All these kids running around. <laughs> We finally found the spot to eat and I think this is a perfect place. Uh, the weather is beautiful today. I'm so happy and the food we bought looks so delicious. We bought everything today at Isetan department store. Um, yeah, so let's dig right in. Shimogamo Saro. Yes, that is the name of the shop that we bought this. Uh, the shop is located in the basement of Isetan department store. This is one of their bentos. It's their... Uh, spring bento and they were you know they had other they had other bentos available but they were all sold out because everyone's apparently buying bentos and eating it at this park so check it out guys um i really don't know where to start this is full of colorful ingredients here this is nanohana i think and i can't remember what this is called in english do you remember nanohana Google it guys, Nanohana. This is a spring flower. Mmm, mmm. Oh my god. The Nanohana is something I look forward to every springtime because this is the only time you can have it. Mmm, delicious. It's kind of like, it has a texture of boiled watercress, but there's no bitter tones in this vegetable. Mmm. And this has sesame seeds, um, really, really lightly seasoned with. Um, some kind of dashi, I think. And right here we have ofu in a sakura shape. And below that we have koya dofu, which is a, a type of tofu. And we have shiitake mushroom right here. Okay, I'm gonna save that for later. What does the ofu taste like? I'll eat half of it because I gotta save half for Satoshi. Hmm, very night at nice gentle taste mm. um, by the way ofu is um, a gluten it's made of gluten and um, it's good if you're a vegetarian you can't eat meat this is like a meat substitute mm. really nicely seasoned in a, like a dashi sauce and this right here we have a gammo and this is also made of tofu but this is tofu with a uh, assorted vegetables and this is simmered in a soy sauce broth I think mmm juicy mmm oh yeah that's good that's good stuff I just had a soybean as well a whole soybean there's carrots I think there's like hijiki which is seaweed I'm gonna have my takenoko gohan which is bamboo shoots rice so that's my bamboo shoots and on the rice you see there's some uh, deep fried tofu Okay, I'm gonna try the rice. I just wanna see if the rice is seasoned. Okay, takimasu. Hmm. Mm. Yep. It is seasoned with the bamboo shoots. I think they cook it together. Hmm. 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 Nice and crunchy. Hmm. Really delicious. The snowmono, which is like a vinegar salad this is imitation crab and uh, wakame which is seaweed here's some kind of fish i think that's uh would you say this is red snapper Come in. yeah okay so i think this is red snapper mm. Mm, no. that's flavored with yuzu which is a japanese citrus i did not expect that mm. And we'll also have some egg omelette, tamagoyaki in here. 
That's a tamagoyaki. And we also have a duck. That's a smoked duck. We have a kombu. And we have a whole shrimp. This is peeled. And we have some soybeans in here. This is simmered soybeans. It's kind of on the sweet side with some uh, vegetables and seaweed. So I want to see if this tamagoyaki is better than Satoshi's tamagoyaki. Oh, that's good though. That is good. That is really good. It has, um, it has a lot of umami in this tamagoyaki because they use dashi in the, in the, in the tamagoyaki. Mm, smoked duck. <laughs> See, I haven't had duck in a while. Mm, mm. Oh yeah, that's so good. I don't like it because it's tender. I hate, I hate it when duff is, you know, duck is overcooked and tough. Perfectly cooked. So here we have four different types of onigiri and this is uh, from a store also from the Isetan basement and they specialize in uh, rice balls. This one is a ebi tenmusu which is a specialty of Nagoya. It's a shrimp tempura with sauce on rice. And this is something I've never tried before. This is torotama hamukatsu. This is ham cutlet with a soft boiled egg on the inside of rice. Kind of reminds me of like onigirazu. And then we have ikura. This is a salmon roll with a perilla leaf. And then finally, we have this one. This is a uh, uh, barbecue pork omusubi. It's small. This is like tiny. Look at that. Fits in the palm of my hand. So which one should I eat first? Maybe I should try this one. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. Wow, you see that that ham cutlet, that, that, that piece of ham with the breading and that uh, soft egg. And I think there's some sauce and there's maybe lettuce leaf? Looks like lettuce. Mm. 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 It's rather comforting. Mm. Mm. The egg is super creamy. The ham cutlet is deep fried. Of course, it's no longer crispy, but that doesn't matter. And the sauce is not too salty. It's a very um, it's a very sophisticated tasting onigiri. It doesn't look sophisticated. I thought it would be more intense in flavor, but. It's just flavorful enough. I'm so excited to try this one out because this one is so tiny. Look at that, it's so small. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I'm loving this. Mm. Look, the rice on the inside. Surrounded by this beautiful teriyaki pork meat. The meat is not fatty at all. Mm. Oh, this is delightful. I got these uh, meatballs, sweet and sour meatballs. These, in my opinion, are like the best sweet and sour meatballs in the entire country of Japan. Seriously, um, this is uh, from this is also from the Isetan department store, basement level. And uh, hmm? Kohakudo. Kohakudo. The shop is called Kohakudo, and they specialize in making uh, croquettes and these meatballs. 
um, and menchikatsu from uh, Japanese Wagyu. So, um, so it's always delicious, but I can never resist these meatballs. I, you know, I love these so much. I think on the way home, I have to buy myself another pack of this. It's so good. Two is never enough, guys. Mm. Oh my god. The, <coughs> the outside still retains its crispness. That sauce is amazing. It's so good. I cannot get over how good this is. Mmm, the flavor. It's so flavorful. Mmm. And this is the ikura with the perilla leaf. And by the way, all these um, rice balls are from a shop called Honoka, also in Isetan. Takimasu. Wow. I love salmon roll. I love ikura so much. Mm. So much, so much ikura in here. And I never had ikura with perelis before. It actually works well together. So this, so this is the uh, shrimp tempura onigiri, or in Japanese we call the tenmusu. It's a Nagoya specialty. And so whenever I'm in Nagoya, can never resist have to buy a whole bunch of this if I come back to Tokyo. You like the like mas. Oh, that looks so good. Mm. 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 Oh no. Mm. That is the bomb. Oh my god. Okay, I think this is the best one. The best one out of the onigiri. Mm. It's so much flavor in here. Mm. The tempura, of course, is no longer crispy, but it doesn't matter. It's not greasy at all whatsoever. I think it's because the tempura batter is not the typical tempura batter. It's more like a fritter. So even though it's cold, it doesn't become greasy. Mm. That is delicious. dessert this is from a shop called Sentaro this is also located in the same place Isetan everything we got today was from Isetan and had to get some sakura appropriate dessert for us so this is what uh, Satoshi chose this is the uh, sakura botamochi and although it looks like it's supposed to be savory it's not it's actually a sweet it's actually a dessert there's that sakura petal and as you can see the rice is quite sticky here um, I'm thinking that is the sakura leaf mixed in oh I also see sakura petals mixed in there are a lot of sakura flowers in this one. <gasps> oh, there's uncle on the inside mmm sweetened atsuki beans and you know what this is actually really good the outside is not sweet at all. The outside is more on the salty side. It's a little bit salty. Almost reminds me of like a... I don't know what it reminds me of, but there's... It's salty, but it goes really well with the uh, sweetness of the azuki. Hmm. This one, I think some people may not like it so much because this is a hard one. Hmm. I think it's delicious though. And the texture of the leaf, it has some um, crispiness to it. This one is like, this is what you call a party in your mouth. If, you know, and whether that party is a good or bad party, that's really up to your taste buds. Finally, from the same store, this one is the Hana Yori Dango. Once again, Dango means uh, mochi on a stick. A lot of people ask me, what is Dango? And that's what it exactly means. It's simply mochi on a skewer. If it's not on a stick, it's no longer dango. Um, that's uh, it's decorated. The top one is decorated with uh, a preserved sakura petal. 
Um, I'm hoping that all of them taste different. We'll see. So. Mmm. Mmm. You know, I'm. I usually get these uh, sakura dango from the 100 yen store because you can get three for a dollar. This one is like one for almost a dollar fifty or something, so it's a lot more expensive. But I gotta tell you, the quality is so different. The quality is so high. The rice, you can tell they use better rice, and it's and it's a little bit sweet, just a little bit sweet. I'm gonna try the the green one to see if it's different. Hmm. Once again, no fillings. So the, the sakura dango never have fillings. Um, it kind of tastes the same with a hint of yomogi, which is mugwort. It's supposed to be really good for your body. And then the bottom one, it actually looks like konnyaku, but I'm pretty sure it's not konnyaku. Hmm. Hmm. This one has like a earthy taste just slightly but overall they also sort of taste alike just with slight slight different nuances but a very subtle sophisticated uh dango perfect for the cherry blossom viewing perfect dessert Satoshi feels too ugly to be on video today. Now we'll like leave him in peace. Um, once again, this is the Shinjuku Gyoen Park. It's a beautiful park. Did you see his fingers just now? Uh, it's a beautiful park to come to. Um, there is an admission to come in. I think it's about 200 yen, I believe. But it's totally worth it. Um, it's a huge park with lots to see. There's a Japanese garden. Uh, there is a European garden. There are um, snack stalls, there are restrooms, it's very clean and um, I recommend coming here any time of the year. Um, if you want to see, um, I actually made a video here last year so if you want to see that one and you missed it, check it out by clicking right over there. Thanks for watching guys, hope you guys are all enjoying your spring. If this is your first time, please subscribe to this channel if you like these kind of random videos about Japan. Until next time, take care. Bye!